All right, yeah. <laughs> so, who's responsible for slavery? Who's responsible? There's a, there's a lot of ones involved in the whole business. You know what I mean? But from a biblical, from a Hebrew or an Israelite or black Jewish perspective, it's the God, the God of Israel. It's, it's the God of the Bible. It's Yahuwah, Eloheinu. He's responsible. He's responsible for selling our people. Right? Because he's the most high. He's the almighty. He's the one in charge. Now, how, how do we know this? You know, we heard some Hebrew Israelites, some Hebrews, comma, Israelites and black Jews say, oh, Haile Selassie or this one or the Africans or that one. Well, there's a lot of hands involved, but ultimately it's the God of the Bible. It's the God of Israel that's responsible. Right? He, he says so. How do we know this? We know this in Torah. In Torah, in the scriptures, in the Bible, translation or untranslation, we know this in the scripture. Let's just go to one scripture right here, 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 just to let one to one to know right here. Let's let's bring this one up. Okay, here we go, right here. Here we go. Boom. Psalm 44 and 12. Okay, Psalm 44 and 12. What does it read? Thou, thou, thou. Who's thou? You. Who's the you here? You, male. Okay, let's put this into context for once. First, let's read the sentence. Thou sellest thy people. Thou sellest who? Th thou, thee, thou, the I. Sellest who? Thy people. For what? For naught. What's naught? Naught is nothing. Nothing. For nothing. Mm. Hon, hon, hon. Hon. <laughs> right? For hon, right? And dost not increase thy wealth by their price. So, Let's get this straight right here. Let's go into this right here. Maybe we have to compare with some other Bibles, you know, and just give a simpler read. Okay, BBE says, let your people go for nothing. You let your people go for nothing. Mm, is it let the people go? Easy English says, you are selling your people and the price is cheap, cheap. Mm, sold them for cheap, right? You have sold them and not got anything for it. We go into the Hebrew. Should we go into the Hebrew? Right? Team Kor Ameka. Below Hon. Be what? No Hon. For no wealth. For no price. For no value. Team Kor. Team Kor. You. Male. You. So so who's the you? Right? Who's the thou? Here in Psalm 44 and 12. Just to answer this question. Because, you know, oh, they'll say this one. And, and the African sold. Black people, well, there's many hands involved. I mean, even with Joseph, even with Joseph in the Torah. Who sold Joseph? It was Joseph's people who sold him. And we didn't even get into Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 68. The proper reading is you will be selling yourselves. Selling yourselves. See, the blame game is easy. This one did it. That one did it. But now, if we say we are Hebrews, comma, Right, we are Israelites, comma. Right, we are black Jews, comma. Then we have to get it right, otherwise, we lose and we continue to lose. And once are losing, knowing what you know, you're still saying what you're saying. Right, here is very clear, even ISV. These are other translations. We still look at the Hebrew, the Hebrew says the same thing. Team Kora Meka, below Hon, below Ribita. Be me Be me Right? Classic King James Version. Thou sellest thy people for naught, for nothing, but lohon, and thou, and dost not increase thy wealth by their price. Without riches, without riches, without riches, for nothing. You want to go into the Greek? I mean, I mean, I mean which, which version you want? <laughs> We prefer the Hebrew, but which version do you want? Which version can you understand? Right? That is the God. Let's go here. It's the God of, uh, see the psalm right here? The psalm, just use this as one example. We have other examples. So this psalm here, now this was known to ancient Israelites. This means that the Israelites of the Bible, right, according to the scripture, the Israelites of the scripture, they had the idea when they were singing this psalm, Psalm 44, Right, that it was 
Here we go. To the chief musician for the sons of Korah, my skill. We have heard with our ears, O Elohim. Our fathers have told us what work thou didst in their days and the times of old. So this is the Israelites speaking to the Holy One, blessed be He, blessed be the name, speaking to Elohim, Elohim. Right? It says, How thou just drive out the heathen of the nations, and it goes through a whole liturgy right here. It says, Thou art Malachi. Malachi. Right? Elohai, Elohim, you, my, you know, command deliverances for Jacob. So we see the context here. All right, let's just keep scrolling down. It says, Ben Elohim and Elohim, El Elohe Yisrael, El Elohe El, the Elohim of Israel, sold the Israelites. All right, let's get this right. In Elohim, we boast all the day long and praise thy name forever. Now, here, here, here. So now, after we get to that verse there, we get to this verse here. But thou hast cast off, they thrown away, and put to shame, and goest not forth with our armies. So if our armies were fighting against other peoples, you know, whether it's um, other Africans, black people in Africa, that's the next point. You know, the real, real Hebrews come, real Israelites come, real black Jews are African-related. African related. Let's just get over that so we can move forward from that. Thou makest us turn back from the enemy, and they which hate us spoil us. Those who hate us, the haters, the racists, you know, the haters. They don't have to be necessarily the racists, could be other other tribes of, of black people, of Africans. Thou make us not Africans because other tribes of Africans had hated us. Verse 11 Thou hast given us like sheep. Mm, the sheep appointed for meat and has scattered us among the heathen. Heathen, he, 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 heathen mean other nations, nations, other nations, other nationalities. Goy, right? Nation. You see, Goyim, nations, other nations. So whether they were black nations, African nations, or whether they were European, European nations, or whether they're other ethnicities, other nations, nations, nations. Here's the verse here again. Thou sellest thy people for naught. So this psalm is speaking, Thou is Yahuwah Eloheinu, right? Is the Lord God of Israel. Get it? Get it. Thou sellest thy people for naught, for nothing, below hon, and dost not increase thy wealth by their price. So let it be understood very clearly what we're saying right here. So when ones and ones say, well, you know, it was, it was these ones, it was those ones. Many hands were involved in the so-called slave trade or in what is called slavery. There was many hands involved, but it's clear, it's very clear that the Torah, right? the Torah says that it is the God of Israel that sold the Israelites into slavery. You get it? You get it? <laughs> or are you trying to run away from it? You're trying to run away from that fact? You know, ran from east to west, right? Ran from east to west. Now we can get into some more details, historical details. But right here, just let it be known. When we talk about who is selling who, who has sold who. And remember, we didn't even touch on Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 68. You know, that's a very, very important chapter. I think we're going to have to touch on that chapter, Deuteronomy chapter, where we shall enter into what? Egypt by way of ships. Okay, let's go right here. Egypt by way of ships, right? Egypt by way of ships. Here we go right here. Let's take this off the screen. Egypt by way of ships. I mean, this is a, this is a, a basic point, right? This is a basic point. That ones don't want to get, want to play the blame game, you know? Remember, Scripture says, the Bible says that the sons of Jacob sold their own brother. So that means our hands are not even clean of that. You see, but it's easy to say, oh, it was a white man. Oh, it was a black man. It's an African man, right? Here, this verse here, properly interpreted, really tells us that it was our own hands that did this, right? But someone a deep end on KJV, you know? <laughs> 
<laughs> he sold you that translation too. But Deuteronomy chapter 28, 68, and the Lord, Yahuwah shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships by the way whereof I spake to thee. Thou shalt see it no more again, and there y'all shall be sold to your enemies for bondmen and bondwoman, and no man shall buy you. Now, you know this is a translation, right? You, you do know this is a translation. But let's go right here. Let's go to the Hebrew. Now, for Hebrew speakers, probably be able to understand this a little bit better. Here's the Hebrew. Let's go down to the Tanakh. Michael right? wants to talk about the Tanakh. Here's the Tanakh right here. All right? All right? Ah, uh, here we go. Now, the usual translation is what we just read right here, right? And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships by the way wherever I spake to thee. Thou shalt see it no more again, and there y'all shall be sold. Y'all shall be sold. Almost like it's like somebody else is doing this, right? This is the idea that we get. So we say, oh, look, it was the white man that did it. And yes, his hands were involved. Right, but our hands were also involved with, with Yosef, with Joseph. See, a lot of Hebrews, comma, Israelites, comma, and black Jews, a, a lot of times we like to forget those points there because it's easy to blame the other guy. Right? But see, when we clear ourselves, when we clean ourselves, right, nobody else can make us dirty. Right? But someone else makes us dirty and we don't know how to clean ourselves, then we, we stay dirty. All right, but let's go down here. Let's go to the Hebrew right here, just quickly right here. All right, so here's the verse right here. All right, where Heshiv, Heshivka, where Heshivka Yahuwah Mitzrayim Ba Oniyot Ba Derekasha Amartia Lika Lo Tosi for Oda Lir Otaha, where Hita Makar. Tem, that's the word right here. Let's just highlight that word. Boom, right there. That's the word right here. We're hitamakartem. We're hitamakartem. We're hitamakartem. It says, Sham le oibeka la abadim. we lisha fahot. we ain kone. we kone. Now, the word that we're looking at right here. That's often translated with hit makartem. With hit makartem, ve hit makartem, hit makartem. And the translator in the KJV says, ye shall be sold. But you know what the Hebrew really says, brothers and sisters? Wait for it. Here's what the Hebrew really says right here at this part. And there you shall sell yourselves. Boom. There we go right there. And there you shall sell yourselves. There we go right there. And there you shall sell yourselves. So this verse, the verse that you heard a lot of ones, you know, come for the KJV. Yeah, that was from low degrees. It's a stepping stone. But people have stumbled over that stepping stone. What it says right there, that we will be selling ourselves. All right? People say, oh, you, you sell out. This one's a sellout. That's one's a sellout. <laughs> Interesting, the scripts already said, right, that there you shall sell yourself, that we'll be selling ourselves, selling ourselves to our enemies. Is that like the snitching game? Could be a little bit of that. You couldn't read that into it. But you, there you shall sell yourselves to who? To your enemy for what? For bond servants and bond maids and no man shall buy you. Some say no man shall redeem you, but basically no man shall buy you, right? Can remember the other verse in, in 44? Right, Psalm 44, where it says, Thou sellest thy people. So, Yahweh Eloheinu, right? El Elohe Yisrael, the Lord God of Israel, sold the Israelites. So, we as once lost, now found black and brown, beta Israel and Americas and the Caribbean and all over to the four corners of the earth have to become acquainted with these facts that, first and foremostly, the Almighty, the Sovereign, right, is the one that gave up on the soldiers. Right? And then we just got into the, the market, right? We got into the market back and forth. And here, this key verse here in Deuteronomy, the curses. These are the curses. People say, this is the curses. This is how we know we're Israelite because of the curses, right? And here you shall sell yourselves, as we have right here in the Hebrew right here. Where hita makartem, where hita makartem shall be selling yourself. Where hita makartem sham, there, sham, sham. Where hita makartem sham. 
le oibeka, to your enemies, le oibeka, to your enemies, la evadim, la evadim, for evadim, abadim, abadim, for slaves, for servants. So, it's the God of Israel, right, firstly and foremostly, who gave up, right, on our ancestors, right, who gave up on our forefathers, right, and sold us, right? Now, the reasons why you should be familiar with it, if you go into, you know, Deuteronomy chapter 28, you should also look at Deuteronomy, well, Leviticus chapter 26, Leviticus chapter 26 and Deuteronomy chapter 28. So, on this whole issue right here, who sold Right, who sold the Hebrews, comma, the Israelites, the black Jews? Well, first thing we have to get straight with is that according to the scriptures, if we value the scriptures, if we value the, the word, right, and the prophecy that it was Yahweh Loheinu, that it was the God of Israel that sold, firstly and foremostly, and that even we were selling ourselves. So 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 which one is more significant? that the God of Israel says that he has given up and sold us. And we even say to him that you have sold your people for nothing. Which one's more important? We selling ourselves. We selling out on ourselves, right? And I would point into the Joseph. The jo remember the Joseph? The Joseph incident? You recall the Joseph incident, you know, what the Israelites, the sons of Jacob, did to their brother, Joseph. Just an example of and you shall sell yourselves. Ain't, ain't, it, ain't, ain't that a, a good example right there? Right? Then we say, well, the white man, look what the white man did. Well, okay, okay, which one came first? Which one happened first? You think the white man did it before the God of Israel did it? Who, who do you think was first? You say, keep God first, right? People say, keep God first. So which one is first? Hmm. And, and how about the Joseph incident? Where was the white man in the Joseph incident? All right? All right? Where, where was the white man in the Joseph incident? Do we have the white man in the Joseph incident? Did, did, did you recall where the white man was in the Joseph? I, I don't think the white man was really there. <sighs> in the Joseph incident. All right? So, who sold the Negroes into slavery? It was the Lord God of Israel sold the Negroes into slavery, so the Israelites into slavery. You shall know the truth, and the truth shall set you free.